coverage has been unbelievably sexist, and I cannot believe that the press would have treated another senator with 20 years of experience as they have treated me. They've ignored everything that I've gotten and written story after story about how I am so supposedly duped. How, I, how am I duped when all your amendments get accepted? Collins was a key swing vote on the tax cut package. Let's bring in the conservative millennial, Allie Beth Stuckey. Allie, what did you think of this story? Well, Senator Collins is absolutely right in that she is receiving criticism from both sides, but that is the price you pay for being a moderate. And it has nothing to do with the fact that she is a woman. She has made liberals mad by going back on her promise not to vote for a tax bill that repeals the Obamacare mandate. Then she's made people on the right mad by trying to pass insurance subsidies through the House, which failed. And so she's trying to play both sides of the aisle, and this is exactly what happens. And unfortunately, I think it hurts her credibility and the credibility of other female leaders when in the face of very legitimate criticism she cries sexism you know let's back up so here i hear your, the politics i understand what you're saying she's reacting susan collins the senator is reacting to the new york times saying quote you were duped into voting for this bill that in other words the idea being that she really didn't understand the bill that she fell for it and that she didn't cry during a recent meetings with protesters, many of whom serve, uh, suffer rather from grave medical conditions. Her point is, would they have said the same thing about Jeff Flake or any other male senator? Well, I think we have seen the media really go after Jeff Flake, Senator McCain, Marco Rubio, Cornyn. It's really bipartisan criticism against them when they said that they weren't going to support this GOP bill. I think that she is discrediting all of the criticism that her male colleagues have suffered over the past few months, not only in regards to the tax bill, but also in regards to the repealing of Obamacare or the attempt to repeal Obamacare. I, I just don't think that she can make a good argument that this is a sex criticism. You know, Ali Beth Rosie O'Donnell lashing out at Senator Collins over the tax cut bill, asking, quote, do you think your family is proud of you and saying Susan Collins has betrayed all women? What's your reaction to that? Oh my goodness, Rosie O'Donnell has has more to worry about herself. You know, she also, before this, she said that she was going to bribe Senator Collins and, and Jeff Flake, um, saying that if they voted no on this bill, no on the bill that was going to kill so many Americans, that she would give them $4 million. Well, what I have to say to that, if you care so much about women, if you care so much about uh, the people that are going to be harmed from this bill, why don't you donate that $4 million that you apparently just have lying around to actually help them, rather than just tweeting about it and potentially illegally bribing senators. Yeah, she does know that that's against the law, right? I mean, she, Ali, but she doesn't I, know I'm not sure. The law, right? I, 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 I don't Bribery see. I think she's law. off her rocker. Okay. I don't know if she knows. Ali, Beth, thank you so much for coming on. Come back soon. Merry Christmas thank to you. you. Pepsi, UPS, Walmart, Anheuser.